Good evening, everyone. I'm Archit Thashadri. Thanks for joining us. Today is Wednesday, July the 27th. This is We On. Let's take a look at your top stories making headlines this hour. More than 40 people were killed and 170 hurt in two bomb blasts in the Syrian city of Kamashli. Islamic State claimed responsibility for the attack, saying they targeted Kurdish security forces. Local media reports that one blast was from a car, the other from a motorbike. French Prime Minister Francois Hollande spoke with France's religious leaders after two Islamic militants killed a Roman Catholic priest in a church. The Paris mosque has called the act outside of Islam and that all French Muslims condemn and reject it. Two Islamic State militants took several worshippers hostage in a French church on Tuesday before police shot the attackers dead. The Financial Times Stock Exchange 100 touched its highest level in more than a year. This on the backing of strong GDP data and solid corporate earnings. London's benchmark index also touched its highest level since last July, but the pound did fall by as much as 0.35% to a low of $1.31 despite a tough second quarter. Protests erupted across Pakistan-occupied Kashmir as protesters took to the streets over the 21st July polls. Locals claimed the results were rigged by the Pakistan Muslim, Muslim League Nawaz. The party had won 32 out of the 41 seats. In a shocking incident from the Indian state of Madhya Pradesh, two Muslim women were brutally beaten up by a crowd over allegations of having beef. One of the spectators recorded a video which showed the woman being slapped and kicked around. There was a similar incident reported back in 2015 when a man was beaten to death for storing cow meat in his fridge. Nursing Yadav filed an FIR naming two teenage wrestlers who contaminated his food with banned substances. The Indian wrestler was being replaced by Parveen Rana in the Rio Olympic Games. Yadav, who had failed his doping test, was put under provisional suspension. That is our bulletin for right now. You can stay up to date with news from across the globe. Just check our digital, mobile and social media platforms. Have a great night.